Hey everybody, in this lesson we're going to talk about how to read a scale. So why is it important to read a scale? Because reading a scale is the essential skill in, to possess in chemistry. In chemistry you're going to be reading the scale of, for example, beakers, burettes, graduate cylinders, right? Even thermometers. You need to know how to read these scales in order to know that the value you have is correct or not, okay? So we know that most scales have what we call a numbered division and an unnumbered division. So what does that mean? Well, the numbered division is what you see as a number. So for example, if you read a thermometer, it's the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so forth. The unnumbered division are just the one that has lines. There's no number to attach to them, but we know what they mean still. All right, so we use these two to help us read a scale. Now, both of these are called what we call calibrated divisions. Now, why are they called calibrated? Because they have been calibrated, aka set, to be those numbers. Okay. So, what does the unnumbered division give us? It gives us more precision. The unnumbered division gives us more precision because they're the ones that are going to be the extra decimals, for example. And if there's more precision, there's more sig figs because of that. Now, how do we find the unnumbered division? What is the value? The value of the unnumbered division is found by this formula. It's the difference, okay? It's the change, the difference in numbered division divided by, so let's give you, a, let's make this a straight line, divided by the number of subdivision, aka the number of lines. So what does that look like? Well, if I were to say, let's look at this for example, here's a graduate cylinder, let's say this is number two and this is number one, and there are one, two, three, uh, four numbers. One, two, three, four, yeah. What is each of these lines going to mean? Well, how you find it is, it's the difference in the number division, which is 2 take away 1, divided by the number of subdivision, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's 5 subdivisions between each number. What is each of these lines going to be? Well, it's 1 over 5, which is equal to 0 0.2. So each of these lines is 0 0.2. That's why this one is 1.2, this one is 1 1.4, and so forth. So that's the value of unnumbered division. Now. What we also need to know is that we can also estimate an additional digit after our unnumbered division. So why is that important? Well, let's first of all, let's talk about how the steps to reading a scale. What do we do? So step number one is find the numbered uh, division value that is certain. Okay, find the number division value. So if it's the values past 42, it must be 42. Number two, find the unnumbered division. Okay, so whatever that is, you could use the formula to help you out. And lastly, number three, estimate an additional digit. Okay, but this actually, this estimated value is going to be, it's uncertain. Okay, 
So let's take a look at what that means. Let's look at this example right now. Okay. What is the value of each of these lines? Well, looking at step number one, what is the number division? Well, the first number division here is a three. That means it must be three something. Three something. The next number is these unnumbered division. Now, if we use a formula, we could find that each of these unnumbered division here are, in the sense, they're going to be uh, point ones. So that's why this next value is point something. Point what? Well, let's zoom in. I have the ability of doing that. You could probably go closer to the paper. You can see that if you zoom it in, it is, this line is past the 5. So it's 3.5. Now that is what we're certain. These two right here are certain. We could actually estimate one more value after that, and that number is uncertain. So what can the number be? Well, looking at that, that number could be a 1. And this value is uncertain. Now, what this means is that we can actually trust actually all three of these numbers. We actually can. Now, even though this is uncertain, it still is. Remember, what is significant figure? Significant figure is how much can we trust it based on accuracy and precision. We increase the number of precision here, we decrease the accuracy though, but it's a balance of both, so the, this is an acceptable value. Okay, let's try the next one. Oops. Uh, the next one here is going to be 2 point what? Well, it's going to be 2 point, now if you look at it, has it passed the 2.6 mark yet? And the answer looks like it's no. So it's 2.5 what? It could be 2.58, it could be 2.59, but it's one of those values. Remember, the last digit there is uncertain. That's why it's fluctuating. The last one here is going to be, if you look at it, it's going to be 4.7 what? And if you look at it, it's pretty much almost down the middle. So it could be 4.75, but another acceptable value is 4.74 or 4.76 because again this last digit is uncertain we don't know if that's the case so that is the ability for us to be able to estimate one additional value to allow us to be having more sig figs now we want to take a look at our next example okay so let's zoom this out let's see here let's make this page with oh let's zoom this in to Okay, what if measurements are exactly on the calibrated value? So what does that mean? So if the measurement is on the calibrated value, aka it lands on three exactly, if that's the case, we can still estimate the uncertain digit. So for example, if it lands right here, it's still going to be 3.00. If it lands like, for example, right here, it could be 3.90. Hence why we can, for example, still estimate that last digit. That could still be 3.90 because that zero is still uncertain, but it's still there. Now to finish off this lesson, how do we read the scales of liquids? Now to read the scales of liquids, we always want to read Oops, we read the bottom of the meniscus. Now, if you don't know what a meniscus is, it's the part that if you look at any liquid, for example, right, if this is a liquid and this is what, it'll form a shape of a U in a sense. And where you want to read is the bottom. You want to read there. So read that line, okay? So that is the end of our lesson. As always, make sure you keep yourself safe and healthy, and I'll see you soon.